This will be the greatest stadium built to date. The architecture, you look left, right, up, down. SoFi Stadium has everything. I've been fortunate to be out here the entire time of the construction of this project. I, mean, I can still remember when I flew out here fall of 2016, and it's been a real treat for all of us here on the team to be out here every day and see this thing evolve from its original site to the 100-foot deep hole to here today. We're getting an up-close look at SoFi Stadium as it enters the final stages of construction. The first part is really the design. You know, the design process usually is over a two-year period. I mean, we have drawings that we've issued for construction that if they were on the floor, they would come up to here. And they're complicated buildings, like 70,000 people, in a three, four hour window, all coming in at the same time. That doesn't really happen to that scale, to that degree on any other building type. Since the Roman Colosseum, 2,000 years, people want to be in the building. They want to be part of the building, they want to experience the building, they want to watch the teams there. The architecture and the buildings have been not flatlined, but they've been sort of this common type uh, look and feel and all the focus has been on the green grass and on the playing surface. So what we do is we do a very deep dive into the region. What does it mean to, to uh, be an Angelino? What kind of lifestyle, how that can all become embodied into an NFL venue? I think there's two big challenges right off the bat that, that we as a design team you know, gave a little pause to. Like, how are we gonna uh, tackle these issues? The seismicity of the, of the job and the proximity to LAX. And those two kind of problems became the driving force in how the building ultimately looks the way it does. We worked with HKS from the very early stages of design. Being here in LA, and it's uh, obviously a very high seismic uh, zone. We've got a fault running right behind the stadium, but that also coupled with the site. You might see some airplanes behind me flying over the stadium. We're really close to LAX, and we had to be below an elevation for the FAA to let these planes come by on this site. That meant we had to push the stadium about 100 feet into the ground, which is extremely unusual. To do that right next to a fault was a, a, a challenge on a, on a scale that uh, no one has ever tackled before. So the seismic demands are quite large. We had to plan for that from the start. We're designing for a major event either on the San Andreas Fault or Newport Inglewood Fault that runs right past the stadium. The roof structure sits on columns that, uh, that have isolators so that essentially the ground can move underneath the roof structure and not impart large accelerations. In a major seismic event, we expect that isolator to move about 50 inches. It's important to note that the, the roof structure and the seating bowl structure are completely independent. They don't touch. The Newport Inglewood Fault is just that way a little bit and it runs kind of north-south. So in the event of an earthquake, the motion is going to be stronger. Uh, if, the, if the earthquake happens on that fault, it's going to be stronger east-west. So this way right here, back and forth, this is going to be stronger than this way. And the isolators will tend to move a little bit more in that direction as there's more energy from the fault moving back and forth this way. I think what's amazing about the design team that we've brought, no one ever said, no, I don't think this is possible. Everyone kind of tackles like, okay, this is a challenge. How are we going to do it? This is a unique architectural wonder of the world. And recently, the final piece of the canopy shell was lifted and set in place forming the outline for the iconic roof that will be seen by tens of millions of people annually as they fly into LAX. SoFi Stadium is very unique with this roof canopy system that they have. It's not like your typical structure that's enclosed. The idea behind SoFi Stadium is for the comfort of the fans to be one click better than sitting in an outdoor stadium. So you're still getting all of the 
outdoor breeze from all four sides of the stadium, but you're shaded by the fritted pattern ETFE panels above you. A lot of people ask us, why do we have a roof? In the stadium, why are we covering? And for us, it became a guarantee. You know, these buildings now aren't just for football, all right? They have to be entertainment destinations. And so the roof for us was a guarantee. It all starts out at a high level and then starts to just, you know, get deeper and deeper into the details. The metal panel on the, on the stadium is a fascinating uh, kind of exploration for us. And, and what we're seeing here is a series of mock-ups uh, that we utilize, testing different geometries of, of perforation, different sizes and scales of holes, and then ultimately a, a full-scale size mock-up of what an actual panel would be at the stadium. And we did this to make sure that we were getting the correct amount of light, transparency, airflow. This stadium is gonna appear as a solid object from a distance. And we knew we wanted to change that perception as you get closer and closer to the building. So as you get from, say, the macro scale, the air, until you transition to the site, you start to notice that, you know, can I see through this building? You know, can I, am I looking in through the bowl? The metal, which you, know, you can kind of see here, is actually the first time that it's been utilized. It's called white anodization. We worked with a group out of Kansas City Zaner Metals to create this, this, uh, this metal. It's a beautiful thing that looks almost white in direct sunlight, but transitions throughout the day. So sunsets, sunrises, it's gonna capture the, the pinks and the oranges, the hues of the beautiful sunsets here. So it's gonna change and evolve throughout the day. And then at night it transitions and transforms. So that holes, which we're letting light into the building, actually kind of reverse at night and they emit light. So we have a series of color changing LEDs throughout the, the canopy of this building that really allow it to pulse with the energy of the events that are happening. In my career, I've been to several stadiums, worked on several stadiums, and the scale of SoFi Stadium really is you know, beyond what I've seen before. How do we create the ultimate fan experience? I hope when people go to the stadium for the first time, yeah, they feel like that this building couldn't happen anywhere else in the world.